With Royal Navy personnel playing a vital role in maritime and land base operations, it's vital that today's sailors are trained to be versatile enough to adapt to a variety of military taskings. Now, we've just arrived here at Scraston Fort to see how the recruits are getting on on day two of their confirmation test, Exercise Bright Diamond. You never know what's going to happen, so you have to be on your feet at all times. The training just kicks in, you just, you just get on with it. There's yeah. been good times, bad times, yeah. but it yeah. all brings you together. We've reacted to changes globally. For example, Afghanistan, there are hundreds of Royal Navy personnel actually supporting Free Commander Brigade, the medical branch. There's engineers out there, and therefore they need to be fully prepared for, for op op operations in those sort of areas. And that's the reason, really, that we looked at the core maritime skills, and we feel that this is the bedrock, really, to prepare sailors for what they could face, be it in the land ops area or the maritime field. Your HQs, you need to build your models, you need to know everything about this fort. So Commander, how is the 10-week package structured? Number one, it's a week longer than it was previously, but we've now broken it down into three main phases. The first two phases are four weeks long and are the militarisation and the marinisation phases. The first ones being in the militarisation phase, we focus on fitness, on discipline, on drill but all based around the maritime environment. The second phase, marinization, we focus on seamanship, on survival, on sea sense, on maritime navigation. We then consolidate both of those elements in the confirmation stage of the program, which is a two-week package that actually just confirms achievement of all of the training objectives from the previous two stages. Go out, find the person, and then when you find there's an issue, come back here, report it, or use radio, report yep. it, and then we come out from here, okay? Okay, casualties breathing. We maintain a, a realistic scenario for them. So we give them, uh, you know, the phases of the exercise, what they're doing here. They know they're here for humanitarian aid and they know enemy forces, friendly forces. So we put it in the context of a proper uh, exercise for the, for the whole two and a half days. We have to get to the first eight tent at the top. One of the key changes that we've put into the program is to introduce elements of leadership to the ratings. And that was previously the preserve of the officers. But now what we find is that by introducing that, the ratings are actually able to take charge a lot earlier in their careers than perhaps might previously have been the case. I like what you did. I like your enthusiasm. That's hope. Dear Swift. Do you think you've changed personally much over this 10 weeks? Uh, a, a whole load. Um, yeah. I've never had any sort of military experience at all. Mm. Um, come down, uh, probably thinking about the worst. Um, and it's, it's, it's more exciting and exhilarating than anything else. Developing team working skills, self-discipline, time management, uh, like clothes maintenance, like your kit and stuff like that. You've got to spend a lot of effort to make sure you present it well. You develop, you can yeah. the, core, the core values get instilled in you straight away, so you just become a better person in general. You just become, you know, everything goes, goes together much better. Yeah. So how do you think the recruits now will really benefit from this revamp training? What will they get out of it that they maybe wouldn't have done before? I've seen a change in the recruits. I was here all of last year on the original package. I've seen a different product now uh, at the end and I believe they're definitely better prepared for what uh, you know, they might face. Clearly, if they go into any land-based ops, uh, they'll get additional training, but it's certainly a good grounding. It's been busy, but it's definitely developed everyone's personalities and characters into like, the better person, basically. I never realised what kind of like, sense of achievement you get from this place. I never thought I could have done some of the stuff we've done here. I've pushed myself really quite a lot um, through the whole course. Um, but I've, I've really enjoyed every, every yeah. minute and I'll do it again. Down the river liner you have the, the training ship Brecon, which is the objective for this exercise, that the recruits are practicing a disaster relief type exercise, where they're currently shoreside delivering aid to the indigenous population, whereas tomorrow they're going to be on board and there's going to be some scenarios thrown their way, which again will test all of the skills that we've taught them so far in the course.